As the world's population increases, so do the sizes of our once small towns, and the demand for energy rises. Once beautiful, thriving forests are now being mowed down and harvested as timber, and entire ecosystems wiped out as humans invade the natural habitat of many animals. Fossil fuels are being burned at an alarming rate, producing carbon dioxide and severely threatening the world's environment. Our world's primary energy resource is fossil fuels, yet we also utilize nuclear energy, hydroelectricity, geothermal energy, and wind energy. For the time being, wind is the most attractive of all the energy resources. This brings us to Benton County of Indiana. It is the current site of the Fowler Ridge Wind Farm, as seen here. Once completed, 355 wind turbines will make it one of the largest single wind farms in the world, producing 750 megawatts of electricity, enough to supply 200,000 homes for a year. So how do wind turbines work, you may ask? Simply stated, a wind turbine works the opposite of a fan. Instead of using electricity to make wind, a turbine uses wind to make electricity. The wind turns the blades, which spin a shaft, which connects to a generator and makes electricity. The electricity is sent through transmission and distribution lines to a substation, then onto homes, businesses, and schools. The topic of renewable resources and non-renewable resources for many is a cloudy subject. What are renewable and non-renewable resources? Renewable resources such as wind, water, sunlight, and heat are resources that can be replenished over a short period of time. In other words, they are nearly unlimited. Non-renewable resources such as coal, oil, and gas are resources that take millions of years to form. Of the renewable resources being used, 50% come from the burning of biomass. 41% are from hydroelectricity, 5% are from geothermal energy, 3% is from wind energy, and only 1% is from solar energy. In another 50 years, wind energy is predicted to account for 300 times more than its current amount, being used for an estimated 10% of the total electricity in America. Wind energy is not perfect. While it is nearly pollutant-free and requires low maintenance, Setting up wind farms are very expensive and only locations with an average speed of 12 miles per hour will benefit from it. It is important to understand that while wind energy is a great answer to a complex problem, there is no single form of energy that will solve our energy crisis. It will take a combination of several types of energy and efficient operating. Without a good combination of non-polluting energy resources, the world as we know it may experience some serious problems. Only the hands of time can tell.